gather around my movie maniacs. It is Mark the Movie Man, and here on the final cut, it's Fairy Tale Day. Yes, Fairy Tale Day. And what fairy tale are we telling? Well, Little Dead Rotting Hood. No, I did not get the title wrong. This is the latest from Asylum, where we get the story of Samantha, a.k.a. Red Rotting Hood, who is, uh, powers are passed on to her from her grandmother to help protect the forest from the ever-growing threat of wolves who are inhabiting these wolves, uh, these uh, woods, excuse me, the wolves are inhabiting the woods and taking out the local townsfolk. And we see how the sheriff uh, tries to figure out the mystery of why these wolves are uh, killing these people. What is the motivation behind them? Who's actually leading these wolves? As well as teaming up with Little Red Rotting Hood. <laughs> when I saw that it had the asylum name on it, you kind of know what you're in for. I know I've said that before, but it, it's true. You you know what you're going to get. And I, I rented this movie. I really wanted to see it because of the title. And I will say, I was entertained, okay? Uh, it was above some of the other films I have seen uh, recently, and not just on, on video, but at the big screen. So I was entertained. I got a kick out of the story, the idea that a little Red Riding Hood is actually the protector of the forest and has some uh, super uh, type powers, some transformation type powers. And I dug that. I thought that was a, a nice little creative twist. Now, it does put on there a credit that Marina Sirtis from Next Generations in this. She's in it for all of maybe five minutes. But it was great seeing her on screen and wielding a sword. Yes, she has a sword and the red hood. And so, uh, really interesting backstory here. Now, the special effects in here, a uh, little rough. Uh, I will say, well, okay, a lot rough. But it is a lower budget film. It's Asylum. So the CGI isn't the best, especially when we get near the climax where a little rot, a dead rotting hood has to take on the alpha wolf, if you will. Uh, so, yeah, that uh, was a bit cheesy. Uh, but again, you know what you're going into with this. Uh, so cheesy special effects in the CGI. Writing the story was interesting, and the performances were decent, though. Eric uh, Balfour in here, uh, playing the Sheriff Adam, really enjoyed his character. A really great character. They do some interesting things with him. Even though they fall in a few tropes, they give it a little extra uh, change to it, and I liked that. Uh, Bianca A. Santos plays Red Rotting Hood, and uh, she has fun with this character uh, quite a bit looked good in the makeup uh you know uh, romeo uh, miller is in here danny character great character danny uh romeo uh, miller really sold it well it, such a, a fun uh, guy to see on screen and he he really plays it up and i enjoyed every time he was in a scene he made this film even more enjoyable and you get uh patrick muldoon in here as well as a deputy i folks don't always turn away from Asylum, and I know I, I've, I've been hard on their films. Don't always turn away from them, because uh, some of their films are so bad it's good, and other films are at least entertaining enough to where you can go through and they're not painful to watch. There are some, though, from their collection that are. So it's a mixed bag. You never know what you get from Asylum, so you always got to take that chance. And here, Little Red Rotting Hood, if you're an Asylum fan, if you are if you don't mind some cheesy CGI, if you like a little bit of a different tale of your red, uh, Little Red Riding Hood type of story, you may want to check out Little Dead Rotting Hood. But for your average horror fan, I think you'll be disappointed and and not enjoy this film especially if you don't care for the b-movie schlock that asylum is known for and that'll about do it for us here on the final cut thank you so much for watching again please subscribe i appreciate your support thank you as always and until next time keep that ticket stub